Hello, how are you? Happy Monday to you. I'm Jeff Pondertwardy, the pastor at St. Mark United Methodist Church in Anniston, Alabama, at the corner of Green Spring Road and Greenbrier Deer Road. I'm glad we're together again today. Hope this Monday is treating you well so far, and uh, I'm glad we're together. I'm going to read a little scripture, we're going to talk a little bit, and then we'll pray a little bit. All right, and I'm glad we're together today. All right, I'm going to share with you from the Gospel of Mark, the ninth chapter, Mark 9, starting at verse 42. This is Jesus speaking. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than to have two hands and to go to hell to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maim, excuse me, lame, than to have two feet and to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell where their worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. For everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. Okay. Woo. Some graphic uh, descriptions of things in this. Um, this is this is Mark nine. Just before this, before I started reading uh, at verse forty two, there are a couple things going on. One thing is is Jesus is among children, and one of the disciples say these children need to go away and and not disturb the not disturb the master. And Jesus said, no, better these children are here because we should be like one of these little children um, and they shouldn't be set aside. Uh, and then John says to Jesus, there, there, there are people that we know that are casting out demons in your name, but they're not from among us. They, they should be stopped from doing this. And Jesus said, no, they should be embraced because Anyone who's not against us is for us. Okay? So, and then, and then we start off at verse 42. This, the, the issue ends up being a lot of things. A lot of things having to do with relationships in this, in Mark 9. Having to do with relationships. Uh, the disciples want to define relationships where the children don't need to be here. Uh, these characters that are casting out demons in your name, Lord, uh, they're not from among us and they need to be reprimanded. They need to be, this thing needs to be addressed, something, you know, it's all it, it's relationships. And the disciples want to act it out in such a way that there's separation from groups, the young, uh, these people that are out from among us, but that are doing kingdom work and da, 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 da you know. And Jesus, when he started uh, reading in verse 42, said, don't put a stumbling block among these who believe in me, these little ones. So often that's been referring, we believe that's referring to uh, the children, as I mentioned. Might be, might not be. I, don't, I, I haven't had time to look up little ones in the Greek to see what, that, what that's supposed to mean. If it's actually children or it's supposed to be young in the faith. I don't know. Anyway, so... This has issues about relationship, and Jesus is addressing these things. If, if if you're putting millstones in front of these young ones who believe in me, best you stop doing that. Better for you that a millstone were tied around your neck and you were thrown into the sea than for you to do that. And then he goes into this whole issue about lapping off parts of your body if they cause you to sin, they cause you to stumble, is the New Revised Standard Version. Um, version of, of what he says. Stumble, sin, separate, you know, just um, um, cause ill to yourself or to others. Better that, that thing be cut off. Those causes of those things need to be cut off. Okay, a couple things. First of all, um, 
sin, uh, one definition of a sin in the original language was it's an archery term, so you're missing the mark. And that's fine. Um, another way to understand sin, biblically, is that, um, and I can't remember, to be honest with you, if it's in the Greek or it's in the, um, uh, if it's in the Hebrew. But one of the definitions, understandings of sin is that you lose your share. You lose your share. Okay. Um, so that's a separation. It's a separation. The disciples looking to separate, you know, from, you know, your children don't need, need to be around the master. Separation. Uh, these characters that are doing uh, things in your name and we don't even know them. They, something needs to be done about that. Separation. The very understanding of sin is losing your share. Separation. So this, so Jesus, I think, Jesus at this point is kind of saying when you stumble, that is, you're causing ill, you're missing the mark, there's a separation that's going on. You're, you're, you're losing your share. You're losing your share in the kingdom. You're missing it. Uh, you're going on your way, and the way of the kingdom is another way. So you're separating. You're coming to the fork in the road, and you're taking it. <laughs> um, you're, you're, you're separating it. You know, you're, you're separating, and you don't need to separate. It's causing you to stumble. Stop the separation. So, in effect, the separation is already happening. So it's kind of interesting in this, in the language here, you're causing separation. Whatever is causing that separation... Physically separate yourself from it. Isn't that interesting? If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It's better you go into go into. Um, uh, you, you think it's better to go into. Um, you're going to end up going into Gehenna, going into hell with two hands. Better you live with one. Separation. See how he uses this language. You know, if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. In effect, okay, you want to live out of separation? Let's 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 push it. Let's push it further. Separate your eye from your body. Better you live with only one and be in the kingdom than go to hell, go to Gehenna with two. See how he does this? You're gonna you're gonna live and, and embrace separation, separation from the kingdom, separation from other people. Well, let's push it. Let's separate everything. Let's let's go into a physical reality. And nobody wants to do that. Ah, nobody wants to do that. Because that becomes serious then, doesn't it? Ah, see, so that's serious. Maybe not so serious to separate yourself from children. It's a waste of time to be with children. Or separate yourself from someone of a different denomination. Ah, a different denomination. That's doing things of the kingdom, but you really don't know them. And we have different doctrines. And ew, it's just, you know, they need to go over there. We need to go over here. That's, that's better. Well, they have their building. We have ours. Separation. No, 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 no. See, th th those things are acceptable. But lopping off your hand for, because it's causing you to stumble, that's crazy talk. Jesus, in effect, says, no, it's not. If it's causing you to stumble, cut it off. Well, I don't want that to happen. Oh, okay, so you don't want that to happen. All right, so be as serious about losing your hand as you are about separating yourself from somebody else intentionally because you think you're right and they're cockeyed or they're a waste of time or you know they, they just need to go on their way because they ain't got it, but we do. See? If one is serious, so is the other. Just as serious. And that's why he closes out with salt. You got to have salt within yourselves. What's the salt? Salt's a purifier. There's a salt fire. He makes reference to fire too. Fire is a purifier. This, these kinds of things are serious. If you're separating yourself from somebody intentionally because you think it's best, because you know what's best, and they don't stop, 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 stop embracing the separation. Jesus is, is in effect saying, because if you want to separate yourself, let's push it. Let's go all the way. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, let's not do that. Let's stop and think for a moment. 
And what's this separation going to mean? And is this kingdom business? Is this kingdom building? Or is it just something you want to do because you're so right? Okay? All right. We'll leave it at there. Okay, let's pray. Lord, bless us today. Our business is not to separate ourselves from you, and it's not to separate ourselves from others that you love as much as you love us. Bless them, bless us, bless us all. We trust in you and the blessings you give. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Have a wonderful Monday, and uh, we'll, we'll see you next time, whenever that is. Take care.